Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by www.learningarabicwithangela.com Your favorite website for getting all the free Arabic learning resources and unlimited downloads and ebooks. Ways of saying in Arabic good morning, good night, sweet dreams and have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to stay notified of any new video uploads and hit the like button please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think of the video and of any ideas for other videos in the future before starting with this video i'll just point out that you could always check out the playlist about conversational arabic which has several videos to help you speak modern standard arabic immediately all provided with english translation and transliteration and read out in both english and arabic such as ways of saying and responding in arabic to hello how are you pleased to meet you goodbye and also ways of saying thank you sorry excuse me in arabic Let's start with some basic vocabulary. So in Arabic, al-layl is night time. Al-layl. An-nahar is daytime. An-nahar. Al-layl. An-nahar. Al-masa evening al masa al sabah morning al sabah al masa al sabah so we've said that al masa is evening and al sabah is morning but there is also another noun that is used to refer to morning in Arabic and that's similar to as sabah but it's said as as subh as subh so al masa as subh al masa as subh Sabah al khair. Good morning. Sabah al khair. Sabah al khair. Another way of saying good morning or in response to good morning, a typical phrase would be Sabah al nur. Sabah al nur Good morning in response Sabah al nur Literal translation means May your morning be bright or filled with light suggesting positivity and abundance Sabah means morning and an nur means light hence morning of light so may your morning be bright and filled with everything that's positive and abundant remember we said sabah al khair and we used the word khair which means goodness and abundance in arabic now we're gonna say good evening so we're gonna substitute the word Sabah, which is morning, for Masa, which is evening, and we're gonna say Masa ul Khair. Masa ul Khair. Good evening. Remember, we said Sabah ul Nur, which means good morning in response to Sabah ul Khair. 
we could substitute morning for evening and use masa so it would become masa un nur masa un nur this means good evening typically in response to masa ul khair literal translation is similar to sabah un nur and it means may your evening be bright filled with light suggesting positivity and abundance let's review we've mentioned that masa means evening and sabah means morning and al khair means goodness or abundance in arabic hence masa ul khair means good evening literal translation evening of goodness sabah ul khair means good morning literal translation morning of goodness And in response to good evening and good morning, which was Masa ul khair and Sabah ul khair, you can simply reply by adding the word an nur. So we're gonna get Masa ul nur, good evening in response, or Sabah ul nur, good morning in response. Hence, evening of light morning of light which means may your evening or morning be equally abundant and bright and before i move on to the rest i will um, just refer to a picture that i posted on my facebook page learning arabic with angela and it was about sabah al khair Good morning and um, in addition to what I've already explained to you I've mentioned that there are also some informal variations where the speaker can add a word to sabah to make the morning wish more creative and special to the person that he's talking to so instead of sabah ul khair and sabah ul nur we could say sabah ul word word means roses so may your morning be filled with roses we could say sabah ul ibtisama may your morning be filled with smiles ibtisama means smile or sabah ul amal amal is hope so may your morning be filled with hope so you can see how important greetings are in Arabic and it often comes out as a reflection of what the speaker is saying and courtesy is something that is really important in Arabic and Arabs do go to a great length to welcome and salute uh, people around them especially guests And just in case you're wondering now if you could probably apply the same for evening or night so you could say masa ul wad which means may your evening be filled with roses or sabah ul ibtisama would become masa ul ibtisama so may your evening be filled with smiles sabah ul amal may your morning be filled with hope would become Masa ul amal May your evening be filled with hope So it's basically the same thing But you're just swapping um, Sabah for Masa And you're using the word that best um, suits your emotional state when you're speaking Moving on to good night in Arabic And that's Tusbihu ala khair Tusbihu ala khair If we are addressing a male However, if we are addressing a female We're gonna say Tusbihina ala khair 
تصبحين على خير If you are addressing a group تصبحون على خير تصبحون على خير And it literally translates to May you wake up to everything that is good And a typical response to good night تصبحوا على خير would be وأنت من أهل الخير وأنت من أهل الخير أو وأنت من أهله وأنت من أهله That means have a good night too and it literally translates to and may you wake up to goodness too or may you be one of those who find goodness too وَأَنْتَ and you too مِنْ from أهل الخير أهل means person who belongs to um, something or one of a group or people of so أهل الخير people of goodness or those who find goodness so may you be one of those people وَأَنْتَ مِنْ أَهْلِهِ أَهْلِهِ that means it's people أهل means people and the ها is the attached personal pronoun referring to goodness so أهل الخير أو أهله وأنت من أهل الخير وأنت من أهله and that is addressing a male if you were to address a female you're gonna say وأنتي 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 من أهل الخير أو وأنتي من أهله If you were addressing a group you're gonna say وأنتم وأنتم من أهل الخير وأنتم من أهله Plural in Arabic is always three plus people For the dual there's a different form Dual means two people in Arabic and that would be أنتما أنتما So let's review تصبحوا على خير That means good night تصبحوا على خير For a male تصبحين على خير For a female تصبحون على خير To a group And in response You would say وأنت من أهل الخير أو وأنت من أهله for a male وأنت من أهل الخير أو وأنت من أهله for a female وأنتم من أهل الخير أو وأنتم من أهله for a group and that means have a good night too Saying good night. Atamanna laka laylatan sa'ida. Atamanna laka laylatan sa'ida. You would use laka for a male, but you would use lucky for a female and lakum for a group. So atamanna laki laylatan sa'ida to a female. Atamanna lakum laylatan sa'ida to a group. And it literally translates to I wish you a good night or have a good night. Atamanna, I wish laka to you or for you. Layla, night, saida means glad or happy or good. Hence, I wish you a good or happy night. You could also simply say, ليلة سعيدة ليلة سعيدة Good night Saying sweet dreams أتمنى لك أحلاما سعيدة أتمنى لك أحلاما سعيدة And that is to a male we used لك To a female we use لك 
أتمنى لك أحلاما سعيدة To a group we use لكم أتمنى لكم أحلاما سعيدة That literally translates to I wish you sweet or happy dreams And you could simply say أحلاما سعيدة أحلاما سعيدة And now let's focus on this verb طابة طابة That means may it be good or pleasant And we're going to use it in combination with either your evening, مساؤك or your morning, صباحك So, طابة مساؤك May your evening be good or pleasant or طابة صباحك May your morning be good or pleasant. Another way of saying the same thing would be طابة مساؤك بكل خير or طابة صباحك بكل خير. So we've added the phrase بكل خير and that means with all that is good or with all the goodness out there. So طاب مساؤك بكل خير طاب صباحك بكل خير So may your evening be pleasant or filled with all that is good or may your morning be pleasant or filled with all that is good And of course طاب مساؤك For a male we use the suffix ك طاب مساؤك or طاب صباحك So ك for a male طاب مساؤك بكل خير طاب صباحك بكل خير For a female we're going to use the suffix كي So طاب مساؤك بكل خير طاب صباحك بكل خير طاب مساؤك بكل خير طاب صباحك بكل خير And that also means May you have a pleasant evening Or may you have a pleasant morning And for a group Or in the plural We're going to use the suffix كم طاب مساءكم بكل خير طاب صباحكم بكل خير طاب مساءكم بكل خير طاب صباحكم بكل خير May your evening or morning be good Also to say have a good day we're going to use the same verb that is طاب but we're going to substitute مساء or صباح which is evening or morning and we're going to use the word يوم which means day so طاب يومك بكل خير that means have a good day or may your day be pleasant or filled with all that is good and you could either say طاب يومك full stop or you could say طاب يومك بكل خير with all that is good and we use the suffix ك for a male so طاب يومك to a male and the suffix كي for a female طاب يومك بكل خير and the suffix كم for a group so طاب يومكم بكل خير And another variation of have a good day would be أتمنى لك يوما سعيدا And that would literally translate to I wish you a good day أتمنى لك يوما سعيدا To a male أتمنى لك يوما سعيدا To a female أتمنى لكم يوما سعيدا To a group And now a less common variation for have a good evening or morning 
that would be عم مساء عم مساء أو عمت مساء عمت مساء and that would be have a good evening so عم means have a good or pleasant or abundant and مساء means your evening so may your evening be pleasant you could also use عم or عمت with صباحا so you would get عم صباحا or عمت صباحا عم صباحا or عمت صباحا and that would mean have a good morning or may your morning be pleasant For a female, we're going to say عمي مساء عمي مساء or عمتي مساء عمتي مساء Have a good evening For the morning, we'd say عمي صباحا عمي صباحا or عمتي صباحا عمتي صباحا and that would be have a good morning and now for a group you would say عمو مساء عمو مساء or عمتم مساء عمتم مساء and that means have a good evening for the morning time you would say عمو صباحا عمو صباحا او عمتم صباحا عمتم صباحا have a good morning thank you once again for watching the video make sure to look through the playlist for other videos that may be useful to you and please please leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think and what you would like to see in the future find me on facebook just search for learning arabic with angela you could also follow me on instagram thank you take care and see you in the next video